This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back for another game review. Today, I am reviewing Soul Calibur 4 the Sega Dreamcast, and I will be playing with Inferno in a special look also. So I'll have random different weapons, of course. And there's, of course, eight normal basic stages, like most of your standard games from Namco. Now, from Bandai now, of course. And of course, I'm playing Wong Sonyo, which I'm actually using his moves. I just love messing with people. But trust me, I've been playing this game for years. In fact, I've been playing this game for going on 16 years since 2000, which is insane, I'm not bad. Okay, playing with Taki this time. Come on! I know, I know. I'm not supposed to play around because then the computer will make you regret it later on. Facing Edge Master, which is, of course, the mentor, I guess you could say, uh, of course, Killick. And I'm playing with Surveillance Test daily on. Come on. You can tell I know pretty much all the basic moves in this game. But what you expect when you've been playing this game for a decade and a half, you tend to get reasonably well with most of the moves. At least in the earlier games, it's easier to memorize because there's less moves. I love Ivy's moves. But of course, this is the second installment in the franchise. The first was Soul Blade, or in Japan, known as Soul Edge. This would actually be an exclusive on the home console to only, of course, the Dreamcast. Which really, look at these graphics, it's insane to imagine this game is actually made in 1999. It is considered by most of the most superior fighting game of the 20th century, even though it was the very last year, of course, of the decade. It doesn't matter. It will go down. It is the best game of the decade. At least graphically, but I think musically, it's the best one to fight easily in my top three favorite fine games of all time, along with Tekken 2, of course. But I mean, not Tekken 2, but Street Fighter 2 Turbo in particular version. That was Song Mina's moves I used. This time I'll be facing a course off rock, which it was actually in the first game. So it was Inferno, but in the first game he was just called Soulish. And of course the main baddie was technically Cervantes de Leon. In this game it's actually Nightmare. Come on. Not bad. But But I will say I love that at least this game you can actually play 
as Inferno, which is awesome. Because I love Inferno. And by the way, I'm using Soul Feet the as moves the closest one. And just like the randomness of using Inferno, but of course there would be four more games in this franchise. Facing, of course, this time it's coming to Mitsurugi, the Samurai, which was one of the only characters that's been in every single one of the six games in the franchise, including obviously Subway. Siegfried, the Prince, which becomes, of course, Nightmare, but then gets free again. Love this stage in Venice, Italy. And by the way, if you're wanting to know, I'm using the Lizard Man's techniques. of course, Nightmare, the normal basic boss of the game, along with, obviously, Inferno. And this is perhaps my favorite stage in the game. The background is gorgeous and the music is amazing. In the future, I may actually do a second playthrough with this game, just because I love this game so much. Close. I know it's a cheap move to use, but I love using it. I love that technique. Now I have Astral, which is a very useful one to have, technique wise. Okay, that's it. No more playing around now. No I'm mad. This victory strengthened the soul of 
that had to hurt. And now you see the summoning of traditional Inferno, which is actually pretty cool. Soul Calibur 2, 3, and 4 as well. You win! And I love this ending. It's just beautiful. Great creepy music, the texting, and it is awesome. It just so suits Inferno. of you for the original Soul Calibur. I'll see you next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.